Hey guys, so I'm back. It's been pretty. It's pretty. It's been a couple days. I just got. I got back about two days. Uh, I got about two days later. Two days um ago, I got you know back here from my trip to Virginia and other jazz. You would see some videos of it on my TikTok page. Go follow me there. I'll put it in the description. So yeah. So basically, guys. Yeah. Yeah, so basically, I've got some requests. Now, um, my to-do list for this week and this night, it would probably be, I'm going to be uploading since Winter Soldier and the Falcon is uploading. I may be doing What If Deku Was Captain America or most likely being doing, be doing What If Deku Was the Winter Soldier. So I'm going to be uploading What If Deku Was the Winter Soldier the same night I'm recording this video. So yeah, so basically, I also will be uploading part two to What If Deku Was Leprechaun. And also will be uploading part three to what if Deku was a speedster. And I also will be uploading part um what you call it? Part I think it was you know what? Scratch it. Guys, I yeah, I think that's one of the ways I wanna do. So basically guys, um yeah, so basically guys, um this is what if Deku was Yoda's son or was a Yoda. Now, basically, guys, since Deku is going to be Yoda's son, I'm going to be changing Yoda's, you know, exper experience with the, you know, order a little bit. Just just a little bit. So, basically, Deku is going to be, well, sort of like a heir or something. I don't know. So, basically, before I get into what I'm going to say a little bit more about my channel, basically, guys... I will be making more action figure skits, and I also will be getting into stop motion a little bit more, doing the doing the you know, um, near summer. So yeah. So basically, guys, I may be uploading a stop motion, at least uh, hmm, at least two minute or four minute stop motion this month. So because I'm I'm really rusty on my stop motion, but yeah. So basically, guys, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and let's get into it. Now, guys, before I start the video, it's two questions I want. Is actually three questions I want to ask in this video. It's going to be no, actually, scratch that. I'm going to ship Deku with Mina off the bat, and I'm also going to be shipping. Uh, what do you call it? Deku's going to be shipped with Mina, and Deku is also going to be. Um, should Deku ha should Deku have experience with other, you know, Yodas in the future, or fights other Yodas? Those are guys. Let's get into the what if. So, guys, in the comments, you guys request for some sort of what if. Because I always ask these guys, request, and most likely I'll do it. Now, is this new way of going around? Pro? Can I have got to look at the comments? But, yeah, I will be doing that what if. I just have to read through his comments a little bit. The guy that commented that, or the girl, don't want to be gender specific. And basically, you know, just look through it. And really look through the lines. Now, enough talking, guys. I'm sorry for taking up your time. But, yeah. If you watch through this whole entire thing, you're OG. And you're the best. So, yeah. Let's get into it. Now, basically, Deku is going to be born a Yoda. Or a half Yoda. Now, basically, Deku... I'm going to be making Deku... Um, hmm. What? Deku's going to be about... A foot taller than Mina, a foot taller than Mineta. So yeah, that Deku's gonna be about a foot taller than Mineta, and Deku's also going to have a a lot of you know experience with the Force. Basically, let's talk about Deku's father, Yoda, and how Deku came, or you know, was created. Now, basically, Deku is going to be sort of like, well, a sort of a different type of well creature. Basically, in this universe, Star Wars and the Quirk world are intertwined in the same universe. Or multiple universes. Now, basically, multiple universes live in this dimension. Basically, um, portals opening up at random places on Earth and also in the Star Wars universe. Now, basically, Star Wars, you know, merged with Earth about 20 years before Quirk started to appear in the world. And basically... You know, aliens from other ra of aliens and humans and quirk people lived in harmony and just you know interlocked 
in the world's economy. Basically, Yoda was one of the, you know, people in the whole entire force to unite these universes together and basically become world order. Now, basically, the dark side was, you know, the best they could, they pushed the dark side out of this universe, and the dark side was never really, you know, returned to the universe. Only the only a couple of children of the dark of dark side and a couple other you know people on the dark side you know reinforce onto the gate basically the dark side is going to be a thing in this world in this what if in this world so yeah so basically the light or the force is going to be a very very powerful you know force of power you see what i did there but yeah so basically Deku is going to go, you know, be him. But before we get into that, sorry guys, I'm getting off topic. Deku and his mother, I mean, Inko and Yoda, you know, f find each other or run into each other. Because in this universe, Inko is actually going to be a very strong public leader in the world of, you know, intertwining the Star Wars universe into the Quirk universe. And making everything, you know, make them learn our, their rules, and then learn their rules. So basically, stuff like that. So basically, you know, Yoda fell in love with Inko. Now basically, Inko in this universe is going to have a different quirk other than telekinesis. Actually, sorry, that. Deku, Inko's going to have her small-scale telekinesis, but she's also going to have, um, what should we call it? She's also going to have another... Um, power. She's also going to have a mutated quirk that makes her basically have just green skin. No scales or nothing, just green skin. Like, nothing else. Just green skin. But basically, it's like a light green skin. Kind of like how, actually the same shade of green that Yoda has. Basically, Yoda falls in love with Inko, and Yoda and Inko start dating about a month after they meet. Now, basically, they start dating for about, mm, uh, about 10 years and they get married now basically in this universe Inko's mutated green quirk green skin quirk also gives her another ability the ability to age incredibly slower than other people making her able to live a pretty long life with Yoda now basically the force is you know is told about to you know enhance a person's life scale uh, lifespan but Yoda's already have a incredible Incredible, you know, impressive lifespan. So Yoda may even live. Yoda is like super old. Like I, basically Yoda, you know, falls in love with Inko, and you know, they get married. They basically, get married, and they move into each other. They move in with each other. Now, basically, since Yoda is like a big, you know, culture or like a big hero, because in this universe, um. Yoda's gonna be kind of like a mentor hero, and train some of the you know more you know training heroes. Basically, Yoda's gonna be tra Yoda did train All Might for about a month and a half, but he just thought All Might just you know didn't have enough courage or enough force. He just felt like he didn't. Well, he wasn't he wasn't like he, well Luke. He he needed a student that was like Luke. Or a person that was willing to risk it all just to save one person. Or a person with so much courage that it would basically take their own lives to save somebody else. Basically, you know, Yoda was going back to his house. And since they're, you know, pop culture references and, you know, Yoda's pretty rich in the downside. Yoda lives in a very, in like, mm, in a forest. A very subtle and quiet forest. With multiple, you know, cabins around the area where Yoda can, you know, spend his time, you know, pretty much, what should we call it, pretty much, uh, meditating and doing all of his stuff. Now, Yoda does make time for Inko, obviously, but yeah, so basically Yoda goes back home, is about to meditate, but Inko, you know, tells before, you know, Yoda can walk off, or, you know, before Yoda tells Inko that I'm going to meditate, pretty much, you know, Inko actually does understand Yoda because, like, he can speak in Yoda's weird talking thing. Like, yes, I don't, I don't know what how Yoda speaks in a way. 
Yoda speaks in a way that, um, I can't really say it. I don't know how to, you know, mimic it very well. But yeah, so basically, you know, Inko tells Yoda that I'm pregnant. Pretty much, Yoda pretty much getting excited and smiling just a little bit. And pretty much says, says, mm, that's great, Yoda says. So basically, we skip about six months later, or nine months later, and Deku was born. Basically, yeah, so nine months later, Deku was born, and Deku is born half Yoda. Now basically, you're probably wondering why I'm not saying Yoda. Of course I'm saying Yoda because there's no real term on Yoda's race or what. There's no real name to Yoda's race, so yeah. So basically, Deku's going to be born half Yoda. Basically, Deku's going to... Now, this is a Star Wars universe is mixed with the Quark universe. Like, technology is way more advanced in this universe. Like, spaceships are, like, common, and flying cars are actually what cars are. Normal cars don't exist anymore. They're more or less delicacies now, because, you know, flying cars are, like, a huge thing in this world. And, like, s spaceships are pretty easy to come by, but they're pretty hard to come by, you know a good perfect and working you know unit star wars you know ship now basically robots and technology has advanced to a far greater level than it was before basically deku was born a half yoda now basically deku has an iconic yoda like you know the long yoda ears Deku also has um the three toes if you can zoom in he has the three toes the four fingers, or more or less the, oh sorry guys, the um, the six fingers, now basically, Deku, being Deku, straight up, you know, I'm oh, sorry guys, basically Deku, you know, being born and raised by Yoda. Basically, Deku was a very bright child and also had a lot of, you know, potential to the Force because Yoda's race in, you know, the books, Yoda's race is told to have a very strong connection with the Force. And some people even say Yoda's race helped discover the Force. I don't know. But yeah, so basically, or discover the Force herself. So basically, Deku was born with the green skin, and basically Deku looked exactly like this, to a T, to, you know, yeah, Deku looked exactly like this in the picture when he was a kid, or when Deku's a kid, and basically Deku's gonna be about, let's say, um, five, when he's looking this, when he, he looks like this, and he's five, now basically, Deku does, um, speak, you know, human he doesn't speak in the weird well you know weird third or second person that um yoda speaks in well the first person i don't know and yeah i think that's the second person the third person and basically you know deku is born with green hair so that white streak of hair on his forehead is green it's just a very dark green now basically deku you know is born growing up how to use a little bit of force deku's also born with a little bit of quirk you know deku is born with a quirk as well basically since deku's mother has a life enhancing quirk like he, she ages slower and also yodas already have a incredible and a very impressive lifespan deku was even about well 10 times can live 10 times older or live 10 times longer than Yoda, and Yoda even has a longer life expectancy than normal Yodas. So basically, Deku will be able to outlive pretty much all... Deku will be, a be able to live for a really long time, and I mean a really long time. But since Deku's a human, Deku's, you know, child years go by pretty fast. Basically, Deku's about... Mm, hey, since he's half human, Deku's about, let's say... Mm, Deku still looks five when he's about, um, 16. Now, Deku's 16, and he looks five. Now, basically, 
uh, Deku, when he turns 16, pretty much they say it's better for just to uh, say that Deku's 16, and just say that he's that age, the age he looks like in human years. So basically, Deku's very mature because Yoda's, you know, tend to age incredibly slow. And, you know, baby Yoda, it was about 50, but he looks like a freaking baby, so I don't understand. So, yeah, so basically, Deku's going to be taught how to use the Force and wield a lightsaber for a pretty young age. By the time Deku's about looking like this, this age, Deku learns how to use a lightsaber and is given a green lightsaber like his father. A repli exact replica of his father's lightsaber. A green one. Now, basically, being taught how to use it and use the Force to pick it up. Now, basically, since Deku has a life-enhancing quirk on top of his power, uh, a life-enhancing quirk also on top of the fact that he's going to get the Force in the future, and also on the top of the fact that he's a Yoda, Deku's going to be pretty much, basically, immortal. Now, basically, Deku um, also has another ability. Deku has a quirk, but is more or less a stronger version of his mother's quirk. Deku can basically repel objects towards his hands, at very fast speeds, about like how if, you know, someone threw a ball at your hand. Inko can only slowly attract objects to her, you know, hands. So basically, Deku can attract, you know, the lightsaber handle to his hand, or, you know, a sword or something like that to his hands so he can fight. So if he ever dropped a gun or someone kicked his lightsaber out of his hands, he can repel it back to his hand. Now, basically, Deku being Deku, basically, um, well, you know... Becomes a very lighthearted kid. And Yoda likes that about Deku. He is kind, passionate, and also very wise for a young for a young for a youngling. But basically Deku can still still consider a child in Yoda terms. And also a child in human terms because he looks like a child. So basically Deku, you know, still has a childlike attitude because he's still half human. But Deku also has a very mature nature because he's, you know, half Yoda. Now basically Deku um, is close friends with Bakugo because Bakugo thinks Deku's quirk is pretty cool. And also, De they do know that Deku's Yoda's son because obviously, because like, it's no other Yodas on plan on the planet other than Yoda and, well, Deku. So they obviously put two together and they know that Deku's, you know, Yoda's son. Basically, they, you know, praise Deku and Bakugo because Bakugo has a pretty cool quirk and also Deku has... Well, you know, is a Yoda. He has a really long time expectancy, and Deku already told him about his two quirks, about his, you know, his grabbing quirk, and also his life-enhancing quirk. Now, people in biology, school, schools will be teaching kids about, you know, alien biology and human biology and sorts of all other sorts of, you know, tech and items that they need to know to live in the world of aliens, quirks, and villains, and heroes, and all that other stuff. Basically being taught a lot, about 10 times more, you know, stuff than they were in canon. Now basically, Deku was already incredibly smart because Deku lived for a pretty long time. Now, Deku, since he's older than Bakugo, Deku doesn't say that out loud. He just, you know, acts a lot more. He, he just feel Deku acts like he's better than Bakugo, but he doesn't think that. Now, basically, Deku will be learning how to use the Force about near the end of elementary school. Now, basically, Deku learns how to use the Force pretty well. Now, basically, Deku's father teaches him how to use the Force and will use a celestial form. Use a celestial form. Basically, Yoda has not become one of the Force after Luke, you know, was trained because, you know, after Luke was trained, the portals opened up to the My Heart Damn universe, and that's why Yoda, you know, kept on living. Now, basically, Inko has another ability. Plus her, you know, weak telekinesis and her life-expanding green skin quirk. But also, she has the ability to temporarily give people a, a year added onto their life. But taking away a life, a year off her life. But she can live pretty long, so it's not, it's not, nothing really, you know, special about Inko. Inko's quirk. Or, you know, there's no real big draw, draw to her immortal life quirk. Immortal life quirk. And basically, Deku... You know, learns how to use the Force pretty young, at a pretty young age. Deku learning how to use the Force about the same amount of skill that Luke had doing, um... Actually, the same, the same amount of skill that Luke had, the exact, exact 
amount of skill that Luke had when he died. You know, so basically, Deku's going to be able to use the Force as as good as Luke when he died, and basically, Deku's going to be able to match the power of Yoda one day. Now, basically, um, it if you have seen Death Battle, Yoda versus Mickey Mouse, basically Yoda. Yoda, well, a Jedi that said he was, you know, as strong as Yoda, that is as strong as Yoda in the power counting, he moved a whole entire black, st a black hole. He moved a black hole with the Force. And Yoda is told to be stronger than him. So we don't even know what Yoda can do if he, if one guy can stop, and he, uh, one guy that can literally move a black hole, and a guy that's stronger than him in the Force. So I don't understand, and I don't really want to know how far Yoda can push himself until he starts to, you know, well, die like other Jedi's have when they push themselves too far using the Force. Basically, Deku can push himself to a certain extent to even the sort of like I don't know, push a black hole about a foot, but that's it. Any farther than that, Deku will probably overload himself and kill himself like other past Jedi's did over using the Force. Now basically, now basically Deku and his father learn pretty well, and I mean Deku learns pretty well, and Deku gets about the same lightsaber skill as, you know, um, about 50-50 life lifesaver skills, basically being able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with his father at a pretty, you know, young age. Basically, now Deku looks like he's, set, like he's 16, in this canon, because Deku's time or aging is pretty much random, like really random. One day Deku's like supposed to be fifty, and you know what you call it, uh, or about to be supposed to be fifty in human years, but may look you know seventeen. Basically, Deku's time aging is you know very weird, and it goes down and up at all sorts of different weird areas because you know Deku's half. You know, Yoda. So basically, Deku goes, you know, to UA after Deku becomes, you know, looks like he's a little bit of 17. Basically, Deku's gonna be about a foot tall, a foot taller than um, Mineta. So Deku's gonna be pretty tall because of his human gene. And basically, Deku, um, you know, basically, is pretty tall for a Yoda. Basically, Deku also, because like if you haven't looked at the canon height, Yoda's about two two, and that's pretty short. Like it's two two. Now basically, uh, Deku will go to UA after being after getting a recommendation from his father. Basically, Deku goes to UA in the class one A and pretty much bumps into Mina when Mina walks into when Mina walks in front of the you know pretty much door. Pretty much, you know, talking to Deku, saying that you're you're Yoda's son, right? And pretty much, you know, looking at him, and you know, saying, "Can I protect your ears?" And pretty much, Deku saying, uh, "Okay." And pretty much, you know, she's like starting to massage Deku's ears. Deku getting a little bit, you know, fuzzy inside. Pretty much says, "Can you stop?" And she says, "Okay." And pretty much, you know, says, "So how is it like being one of the, you know, elites? Uh, like you know, the children of one of the elites." Like, you know, basically, guys, um, I forgot to mention this, but it's a new ranking in Heroes. Basically, it's the number zero hero is actually higher than the number one hero. And, the, and Yoda is the number zero hero. So, yeah. So, basically, Deku says it's okay. I'm pretty much, you know, Todoroki looking at Deku and pretty much scoffing. Deku, you know, talking to the girls and the girls thinking Deku's really cute. And pretty much, you know, flirting with Deku. Deku says, uh, thank you. And pretty much, you know, is, you know, looking around and he sees, you know, Kirishima. Kirishima walks up to Deku and says, you look manly, bro. And pretty much, you know, saying, like, how, like, how do you train? And pretty much Deku is pretty physically fit and muscular for Yoda. Now, he's not super bulky, but he, like, he's like, he's like Spider-Man or, like, Tom Holland Spider-Man type of fit. He likes skinny, but, you know, he's, he, mm, I would say, he's about, you know, he's skinny, but also has a six-pack, basically, 
provide that. So basically, Deku will be able to, you know, go toe to toe with somebody even without the Force or any or without any of his quirks. Pretty pretty well because I'm pretty sure Yudas don't have that much physical strength, but they can boost your physical strength and speed and agility using the Force. And basically, Deku is taught how to use his speed and agility and stamina using the Force to enhance it. Like his father does, like how Yoda, you know, can jump so high using the Force and move so fast using the Force. Because, well, Yoda can go to the toe of robots that can literally move at the speed of light. So, it's pretty fast, and Yoda is able, and Yoda and Deku are able to catch up with the same speed at fighting robots that can move at the speed, speed of light and, you know, easily. So, basically, Deku has a pretty much a impressive amount of you know, reaction time. And basically, Deku, you know, just talking to everybody, making friends, and also kind of flirting with Mina. And Mina flirting back. Mina, you know, about to ask Deku a little a little bit more about himself, but, uh, you know, as I walks into class and explains to the class are doing quirk assessments, and they get off the lazy bums and go outside, you little jerks. And basically, you know, going outside. Deku throws it to the ball first, and Deku grabs the ball, using the force to throw it almost out of the atmosphere, using a little bit of you know, over power. Basically for the force, I mean, basically for the long jump, Deku aces it using the force to propel himself up. And for the um, race, Deku uses the force to propel, him, propel himself up, levitating off the ground. Basically, you know, flying past Ida. Basically, Deku, for the grip test strength, he uses the, Deku uses the force to, you know, mess with the gears and the grip test strength, or mess with it just a little bit using, you know, the force and the pressure in his hands to pretty much get a pretty good score. Now basically after that, Deku, you know, is crowned pretty much first place, and everybody else, you know, gets the same score but just lower down one, you know, place. Now basically, Saverin says Todoroki was first place, now he's, now he's second place. And whoever was second place is now in third place, like that. So basically, yeah, so basically Deku, you know, goes back home, pretty much being picked up by a um, what you call picked up by a boom tube or a teleportation, you know, device that no, that mostly p high class citizens in the universe have normally. Basically, Deku gets teleported off. He gets teleported, you know, at his at his you know property or you know his huge forest that his dad owns, and walks into like their mansion. And the forest, pretty much Deku walking in there. Now let me show you a picture of the mansion. Something along the lines of this is what Deku's house looks like. Basically looking like exactly like this. Deku walking inside, pretty much, you know, saying hi to his dad and mom, and pretty much saying that I'm going to sleep and maybe meditate. Busy Deku gets on his bed and starts meditating, thinking hard and pretty much really hard and thinking like, you know, I'm going to be a great hero like my dad one day. Basically, you know, coming a pretty good. You know, I mean, sorry, guys. Um, that's ah, wrong. Sorry, the script. Sorry, guys. I'm just gonna get back to my page. Okay, yeah. So basically, um, the about ten minutes of the um story was you know, unscripted, but like near the end, I went and scripted it. So yeah. So basically, um, yeah. So Deku or Deku is going to be well. Going to sleep, and I'm gonna end it off here, guys. Part two will be focusing on Deku, you know, going to Yue, doing the, you know, training or like the combat training, and seeing how Deku can go up against Bakugo. Or guys, if you don't want Deku to go up against Bakugo, you can always say, you know, you can always put requests in for somebody else to fight Deku or to change the teams up. So yeah, see you guys later. Bye. Just as always, guys, have a blessed day. See you guys later. Bye.